Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a keyboard I have been looking forward to for a minute. Um, I came across uh, this company and actually the first keyboard I bought from them was their version which was the first see-through versions that I, I mean actually it's the first time I saw it I believe. Um, yeah, because it was before Keep Monkey, or right around the same time, but was their Test 68, which uh, was the Tester 68 in three different variants: um, a blue, a, or a greenish, a yellowish one, and an orange one, I believe. Um, and I did get a couple of them from from them, and they primarily had uh, low-profile keyboards at first, and. I had one from Key Crown, but I'm just not, I mean, if I'm going to use a low profile, I, I feel like I might as well just use the laptop keyboard, but that's just me. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the 75% from Newfie Studios, the Halo 75. Um, they also uh, were courteous enough to send me over a set of, um, these are Baby Raccoon, so they're, it's a collaboration between Newfie Studios and Gatoron. Um, it's a linear switch, a little heavier, so it's probably going to be right up my alley. I do believe, though, that these are loaded with the rows, um, and those are tag tiles. These other, the baby kangaroos are linears, or uh, baby raccoons, I'm sorry. The baby kangaroos are tag tiles, but I didn't get those set. These are the baby raccoons, but this one is loaded up, it says here, with the, um, the rows. So, Glacier Rose, I believe it's called. Anyway, let's get to it. For anime fans, that's the back of the uh, the box, or the sleeve for the box once you pull it off. Um, I love anime artwork. I'm not, I, I, I'm into 90s anime. I'm not up to today's anime. I mean, my, my movies were Akira and um, Vampire Hunter D and uh, even, you know, Macross, but uh, so, I mean, I, I, I grew up on Gundam and Captain Harlock, and I mean, huh, well, anyway, uh, I could talk about an anime, but that's a whole different thing. I just thought that this was pretty cool. Um, it has, I mean, it's, it's artwork, designed and engineered in Shenzhen. Every interaction that I've had with Nufi in the past has been positive, just, and that's not something that has been very certain across this industry unfortunately some companies one one day they're fine and customer service is great here you go you know here's a fix here's a return like whatever next time you have an issue no i mean it's 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 rare to come across a company that that always delivers not only good products but good customer service all right i gotta say that it's well packaged um you know, obviously, it, it did make an international flight, so it's got a little bit of, uh, um, you know, pop marks and everything, but thankfully, the box is very solid. First, we have a, um, oh, very cool. So, we've got some stickers. We've got a quick guide uh, that comes in a nice little bag, and then we have the keyboard right below it. But let's see what else we got in the package before we get to the the meat of everything all right so x at 17 extra keycaps seven extra switches one keycap and switch puller and one 1.5 millimeter cable now now i've got to say presentation on everything oh yes well there's the baby kangaroo i've been wanting to at least try one um I probably, you know, was going to be ordering here some, but the fact that they have one of each of the ones that, that are available right out of the box of the switches, that is pretty cool, I gotta say. And the presentation of this keycap puller, um, which I've received when I got a keyboard from another company, I can't remember offhand. So I wonder if they just bought it from the same place or it is the same manufacturer. But anyway, the, the presentation of these extra keys, how the cable comes in this nice little sleeve, I got to say, that's, uh, that's neat. I haven't come across anything that was, that's been packaged like that in the past. 
So, and it looks like all we've got left is the manual now. I don't think I'm gonna play with any of that for right now because I do wanna get to the keyboard. Now there is an optional wrist rest that's available uh, for this keyboard. Now we do have a plastic dust cover on here. And NJU colon FR. I'm not sure what that means. If anyone does, please let me know. I mean, is that, oh, wait a minute, Nufi? Is that just another, is, oh, that's the pronunciation for how they want Nufi. Nufi? Maybe? I don't know. Perhaps. Um, it's a pretty sturdy plastic, so it should work just fine as a um, as an actual dust cover that you can reuse. So that's, it's nice when uh, keyboards have that included. Now, one thing that I, one of the reasons that I really uh, wanted to get this keyboard, I love the sound of plastic cases. I mean, the plastic just has, in my opinion, um, tends to lean towards more deeper acoustic tones. But I, I cannot say that I don't love the feel of metal. Now, yes, I've got a couple of keyboards that have like frames that are aluminum with the rest. And then they're pretty good. I mean, like the Tester 84, that's a combination of both. And I think it's very well made. But this one does have a top aluminum frame. And... I like that cold feel of, I know mean, it's not steel, but it's, uh, so with this nicely made aluminum top and plastic bottom case, I think that this is going to deliver some nice, um, a nice acoustic profile stock, but obviously we'll be getting into it at some point i want to see how this puppy is made now this is a three mode mode keyboard um here right here on the side as you can see i don't have much nails but it's got a little spot where you can stick your nail in and pull out uh, the 2.4 gigahertz dongle i have to say that i appreciate that it's a different color than just black or white because uh, i think all the ones that i have for keyboards are primarily black so you know, it, the box that I have, some in fall, it's like, oh, no, I don't know which one's which. which. I, I do actually have in my door a collection, a little baggie of 2.4 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz keyboard dongles that I don't know which keyboard they belong to, since I usually just stick with Bluetooth anyway. It's not too big, too much of a deal, but... I do like that because this one right off the bat, I know I'm going to see it. And I'm going to know that it goes to the new Halo and that's a nice thing. So anyway, it's a three-way keyboard. It does have a dedicated Mac and Windows um, switch. Uh, I believe all of their um, other keyboards did as well because they were kind of trying to, well, I'm not going to say they were following the Keychron model, but you know, they wanted to make sure that they included uh, Mac. And I believe they actually make mention of Linux users, so, which is nice because we don't get that much mention. Now, I, I do have to look into the software for this because, as I said, the only previous one I had was a tester or the Test 68 of theirs. And obviously, there's no software if, you, if you've had one. But it does have, I can put it into um, Bluetooth mode, nice green light here up at the top left. And then we have that halo light that goes all the way across i mean it's a pretty cool design in my opinion it's it's one of the the nicer implementations of an led diffuser um i have i guess i must say become a little bit more rgb centric i will buy a keyboard that doesn't i mean i love my tiger light 80 or a tiger 80 light it's great but it has no RGB. It does have underglows, so at least I have some. But anyway, this keyboard, we've got the aluminum top. We still have some feet that are gonna give us two, three different typing angles. So it's off the bat, I've gotta say, now we've got what I would call a half blocker, but it's an interesting blocker. Okay, so we, I, I actually do go ahead and pull out the right keys. It is in Mac mode. 
by default. Now these are the switches that we've got, the rows. If I'm not mistaken, they do come pre-lubed. I don't hear any ping, a little bit of scratchiness. But it's a medium tactile with a um, soft but noticeable bump. But the feel of this keyboard Check out these stabilizers. Stabilizers do match one of the colors in the color scheme, which is pretty cool. Ooh, look how loose they are. Now that actually surprises me because they didn't sound half bad, but but they are loose. They are going to need some tightening. Now I would have preferred that these were not as loose as this, but this is not the first time I've come across a kit that actually <laughs> sounds good, even though the stabilizers are loose. I don't know, but this can be fixed easily. A piece of tape where they go in usually does the trick but I'm just surprised at how loose they are they're stabilizers so one of one of their necessary things is for them to be stable now I do like that they have oh, they even have the name of it space bar silicone so and hey I just noticed that we have the blue which I believe is the night night breeze if I'm not mistaken, for the space bar. Huh. But since they have the pack, you can switch it out, you know, for anybody like me who has OCD and all of the switches underneath the keycaps have to be the same. Um, you can switch it out, but I like that they actually said, hey, since you got the switch anyway, let's go ahead and give you a different feel for the space bar, because that definitely, on, let me see how these are. Yeah, these stabs are also, I mean, they're not like about to fall off loose, but they're definitely mobile. It just, I mean, there's obviously a little bit of sound. They could be tuned, but I'd expect it to sound worse. But here we are. So anyway, uh, and they, uh, I didn't check. It does look like there is a minimal amount, but enough um, oil. So it does look like they were lubed, but they were not over lubed. There's no glob. Um, but honestly, I I am quite impressed at the fact that they are not um, that they don't sound worse, uh, being that they are. Um, you know, loose. Anyway, of oh, the keycaps, now the profile is a flat coming back. It barely has any angle, but I would call it like a tall XA. I know it has, they do have a profile, I should probably look, but the keycaps are double shot, though only for the top, not the complete entire body. So that ends up making the body of the keycap a little bit thinner but I think they're above one yep 1.2 my uh as long as they're above one I'm usually happy these are like I said a taller flat like profile oh this one you can definitely hear the rattle the space bar probably is Partly due, partially due to the um, fact that that one's got the uh, linear night breeze switch on it. Now I did have a couple extra keys for like the escape and the enter if you wanted to change the color. I believe this theme is called beach. And you now I don't have my low profile in here, but I have one of the key crons, I believe the K3 um, profile, low profile. And I bought the low profile caps. That is very, it's basically the same color scheme. 
I like it. And I believe it is theirs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think that this is a, a clone clone set. Now, obviously, I want to get into this keyboard and see what it's got to offer. But that's going to have to wait for another day. Now, one of the features I wanted to cover that I completely just it skipped my mind was their new balancer. That's why the um, space bar especially doesn't come out. Uh, I, I guess I was under the impression that it actually came out. That looks looks to be either really wedged in there or just a part of the space bar. So it has the silicone dampening art though. I wouldn't say silicone. I'd almost say plastic or resin. They, even though they're clear, they are pretty hard. They don't, there's no give to them. But definitely, I mean, you can see the stabilizers are not stable, but despite that fact, that keyboard's, that, I mean, that spacebar sounds pretty good. Um, obviously, I'll, you guys could hear it in the sound test, and that's what kind of gave me the impression the more I mess with the others, I can definitely hear a little bit of scratchiness and definitely that they're loose. So uh, I will be um, tuning those up. I'll be coming back to this keyboard shortly. Um, I just wanted to get the initial um, impressions. And honestly, despite it being, you know, more in the $130 range, it is, I think, feature rich. And because it is aluminum, I think it falls fairly square in that price range for a reason. Uh, I like the fact that it has the feet for different typing angles. I, I see a lot of metal keyboards that just, this is the typing angle we've chosen for you and have fun. And sometimes even different keycap sets you put on there work better or just feel better at different angles. So I like that they give that, that option. I, I got, I gotta say, I like the design of it. Um, this seems to be just a sticker to protect. Nice little badge at the back, quite shiny. But having the aluminum upper frame, that's another thing I'm gonna have to look into how to open this puppy. But I'm, I'm gonna assume it's not in there press, press fit because of how these switches are. But obviously, I'm going to have to take some care when I open it up, which I will be doing here and within this week uh, before the holidays. Let's get technical. So today, we're taking a look at the Nufi Halo 75, an 83 key, 75% upper aluminum frame, bottom plastic case keyboard. Now, this keyboard does come fully pre-built. Uh, it's currently in the pre-order stage, so they did communicate to me that they are shipping shortly or are in the process of shipping um, by the time I get the keyboard in hand. Now, during this um, pre-order phase, they are offering a free extra set of Shine Through keycaps, so if you're interested in those. It does retail for $129.95 uh, with switches and keys. Now they do have six different switches to choose from. All of the switches besides two leave the price of the keyboard at $129.95, but the Baby Raccoon and the Baby Kangaroo switches add $10 and bring it up to $139. It does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which in laboratory conditions has been tested to last 240 hours with RGB turned off and 48 hours straight with RGB turned on. Now it does have a chin of 21 millimeters with a standard back height of 32 millimeters and the default typing angle is 5.5 degrees. When you lift up and use the second set of legs, you're gonna lift the back up to 40 millimeters and the typing angle is gonna go to 8.5. Using the third and final set of legs, the back height is going to be at 47.5 millimeters and the typing angle is gonna be 11 degrees. Now these do include PBT 
uh, double shot keycaps that are called KOP profile. So it's a profile by Nufi. It's basically like an XDA with a little bit more roundness to the keycaps and almost a completely flat profile going across. There is a little bit of curve, but it's primarily pretty flat. It does come with 17 extra keys, not only for accents, but as well as Mac and Windows. It also includes the cable and seven extra switches, meaning the switch that is underneath, because they do put a linear switch underneath the space bar, there is a replacement rose switch in here in case you want all the switches to be the same. This weighs fully loaded 1180 grams or 2.6 pounds. So it is a very substantial keyboard off the bat. And it also includes the technology of the ghost bar, which really does do a lot to silence um, the space bar with just two basic little wings coming off the studs. Despite the stabilizers being not perfect, I like this keyboard. I love the fact that it, it's metal, but it's still going to give me the plastic down at the bottom, which is going to give me preferably deeper tones. And I mean, this keyboard sounds pretty good stock. I mean, these are new switches, obviously. So, um, but let me go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this keyboard, and I will be coming back to it. We'll open her up. We we'll see what's in there. Um, perhaps do some modding, perhaps just do the stabilizers first and see what we get. And then we're also gonna give a shot to these. Um, they, uh, Nufi was nice, nice enough to send over some of the baby raccoon switches. These are linear switches. These are actually nice. I have pulled one out and played with it. I actually liked it. So we'll be uh, going ahead and giving it uh, a sound test with those as well. And then probably getting into modding it. But I do want to do those stabilizers because I think that's really going to be the only part of this stock sound test that's going to sound kind of cattywampus. But other than that, I think this is a... So far, from what I've seen, this is a solid keyboard. It It's priced well enough, like I said, because it has aluminum. I do have to take a look at the software. I have no idea what the software is in the description. It said Nufi Console. So it may be a Mac or Windows only software. I hope it isn't, but if if it is, I've got a laptop, we can fix that. We can take a look at the software. If you guys have any questions for me, like I said, I'm gonna be coming back to this keyboard here within the next few days, testing out with the different switches and also fixing the stabilizers up. Shoot me some comments down below and I'll do my best to answer those questions as they come now. To compare this, one question that I was asked was, how would I compare this to the IK75, the NJ80, um, the Next Time 75, the you know more popular 75% that are out there? Now, granted, it does not have the knob, so while being the same layout, it's a little different. But I know some people are fine, you know, without the knob. I'm, I like knobs, but I've got a knob on my numpad, and I'm always, if I'm using a 75% or less, I'm going to have my numpad, so I know I've got my knob, so it's not necessary for me to have it on the keyboard, but I actually, despite, I mean, like I said, I hope that I can program this, because it would be nice to move this up and have delete um, on the corner, and then change this, I mean, I could leave it as insert, but it's just... Like I said, I usually like to do insert as function delete when I'm on a 75 or 65%, so that they're both on the same key. But other than that, I do like the layout. I like the blocker, the half blocker that they have right here. It gives it the impression of a 65% despite it being a 75%. And like I said, besides the stabilizers, I believe the sound test should sound pretty good. But if you have any questions for me or anything that you'd like me to try, on it when I come back to it, leave it down in the comments. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.